Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This little guy's Popeye, and we are the RC Sailors. What's up, buddy? Uh, we haven't done an inside video in a little while. But... We haven't done a video just like on a tripod on this couch since like we lived in the apartment. Which is crazy. Back, like old memories. I know. Like, it... Looking at this shot right now <laughs> is so like. Funny. We should pull up a quick oh shot. Oh my gosh, of... yeah, we need to. Okay. Oh, <laughs> memories. Here we are, five and a half years later, roughly. <laughs> Doing another video, bringing you guys family-friendly content, and there's a lot of content to be had in this video. We've got a lot to talk mm -hmm. about. First and foremost, we're going to give stuff away. Yeah, so stay gonna tuned. We're going to let you guys know who won our giveaway that we posted a little over a week ago. Mm -hmm. We are going to do a mail time video. Fan mail. Yeah, so we, we have gotten... Popeye is going to be making noises in Playing the background. with all the... But yeah, we have a few things uh, that people have sent us that we're very, very thankful cool. for, so we want to show that on the channel. And we are going to talk about the recent uh, strike we got on our channel yes. and update Ish. you guys on that. <laughs> so what should we start with? I think that uh, we should start with a little bit of fun and do one of our fan mail packages. Guys, be sure to stay tuned because two people are going to win some really cool mm -hmm. stuff. And a lot of people were curious yep. about that strike. So, and if you're interested in seeing something on our channel, uh, we will have our PO box linked down below. Yes, or not linked, but it'll just be right there. Now down below. Uh, okay, fan mail, fan mail. Any particular box? Fan mail. There's multiple boxes. Okay. So we've already opened all of these because we get we, so excited. Yeah, we get excited and we let them build up. So we don't want to have boxes sitting in our house. So we have no idea what the contents are, so we always just open them ahead of time. I know who this so is from. So we know who this is from, and we've read the letter from Stan. Stan. You're awesome. Actually, We're always this, like a lot of the stuff. The cool thing Stan. about you, Stan, is uh, <laughs> you you know us. Yeah, Stan you knows do. us before. I bet Stan knew I was pregnant before we said. We it's crazy. <laughs> like he knows you them. know us like you're our neighbor. Yeah, you know. It's and such I think, a, a shame that you live so far away from. What do you live in California? It's, I know. What are you doing over there? He's West Coast. That's okay. The shipping for stuff for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it's thank expensive. you. But thank you. So Stan knows that I like. Pocket knives. He said all this stuff was for you yes. or share. So all this stuff's yours. Or we'll share. Kind of. And this is fabulous. mine. Yeah, that was all that was in this one. Let's see. This is a cool looking knife. Let's see. Ah, oh, very nice. Very nice. I didn't open that I like properly. The blue on that. Feels good. Feel, it looks nice. That's a good box opening knife. Thank you very much. It's <laughs> yeah. a lock blade. Ooh, I like this one. Let's see if I can. That's pretty I think cool. that locks. Yeah, right there. Ooh. Oh man, Thank you, this Sam. looks like a box cutter, Nathan. Yeah, it does. I oh, like I like that. That is like one solid blade. That is cool. You've got to close it. Bad luck. Figure it <laughs> out. Don't hurt yourself. I like that. Let me take a look at that real fast. That's oh. cool. Yeah. Oh, Thank okay. you. Oh, I like that little clip on there. That's a sharp little knife. One more knife here. I oh, promise I we're going to give stuff away to you guys too, but the fan mail stuff is just super cool. Got another little lock blade knife. I like that straight edge. Let's see if I can do this one the right way here. Oh, it's a little tight, and I'm also very weak. Ah, there it is. Spring-loaded. Very nice. And this is mine. But then it's kind of for Nathan, too. Yeah, But so... I guess it benefits me more. And I really wonder if he bought this, and it might have said in the letter, but I forgot. Do it. But if Stan bought this before the pregnancy or after. Oh, Nathan! What do you need, Abby? What do you need? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I will be using this. It's going to go by the bed around the third trimester, and he is going to get it. <laughs> I can say bye to the snack food belly. That's going to be gone with that bell. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is so awesome. See, you just, you know us. You mm -hmm. know what's going on. We've got the best part about our YouTube channel uh, is you guys. That That's it. That's why we love the channel. Uh, okay. And not just because... Sometimes Stan gives us free pocket knives, but just you guys, we have a friendship or relationship with you. Uh, it's we've known Stan for a long time, and and, uh, mm -hmm. and no, a lot, we have a lot, a lot, of, lot of stuff from Stan. So. Yeah, um, <laughs> RCS Fest. We actually get to meet up with people that we know, like yeah. from online in person. So and that the is awesome. just like a little over a week away. So we'll have that link down That's below. Crazy. But we're hosting our own event, and we'd love to see you Maybe guys we'll there. Like Seventy or eighty people yeah, now. That's Numbers great. are growing. Okay, now everybody wants to know who's going to win those drones. We're going to tell you in a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> 
everybody wants to know about our strikes. About our strikes. Yeah. So we thought, we've thought about this quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot happening. And we thought because uh, it hits so close to home, because it happened on our anniversary, five year anniversary, because Abby is pregnant, uh, we thought it would be best to keep it to the facts and just tell you guys basically a timeline of the events. This, this is an important thing it's a game changer for the entire RC industry. And we were given permission from the company yes. to tell you guys yes. what is going on now. Um, and we're gonna do our best to keep it as factual as possible and keep our, our opinions mm -hmm. and our emotions out of it. Yes, because so of- just keep that in mind when we're talking. Book. Okay, so from, from the top, this is important uh, for you guys to know. And if you don't care, just skip forward like That's five fine. minutes. That's <laughs> fine. But a lot of people, a lot of people do care. And a lot of people missed what was going on. Uh, so missed parts of what was going yeah, so on. So it's just updates. Seven months ago, about seven months ago, we made a video uh, featuring a little truck, an RC truck by the name of S-Max. The was letter S-Max. Remo Hobbies. S Max. That was the name of that vehicle. And it quite resembled something that was very well known by a by another company. And we let that be known mm -hmm. to you guys. In a positive way. In a way. positive way. Nothing so negative at all. You would know, you know, just to educate you guys. Educational purposes. We and we put it in a title. Our we channel called it the baby what it resembles. Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, our channel is very beginner friendly. A lot of people come to our channel. We're one of the first YouTube channels people see with RC stuff. So we try to educate people along the way. Mm -hmm. Basic education. We don't get into the deep stuff, just the basic stuff. Hey, this looks like this. He uses this batteries. Okay, so that's why we named it that. We didn't put a lot of thought into it. We're just Nate and Abby, husband, wife, goobers that make mistakes. So slapped a title on it. That was seven months ago. Seven right? months or ago. Seven months ago. Flash forward here. Uh, on our anniversary date. Our yeah, that night, five year, June 1st, Friday, June 1st. June 1st. On our anniversary, that night, we were uploading a video for you guys, just a you know normal process. Mm -hmm. We do this every day. Yeah. And YouTube said, hey guys. We go to YouTube.com. Couldn't even search YouTube. Couldn't watch a video. Couldn't watch a video. Yeah. Couldn't access our dashboard. None of that stuff. Because there was a message in like red on YouTube that said, you can't do anything on YouTube until you acknowledge that you have a strike on your account. Now to most people, a strike doesn't sound like much. What, three strikes you're out? But uh, when you build something and make it almost your life? Yes. <laughs> for five and a half years. Uh, it's a big deal. Let big me explain deal. what a strike does. A strike on a YouTube account, the first one you get means that you cannot go live for three months. Um, as you can imagine, we can make money going live, so that instantly hurt our livelihood, and that was scary for us, okay? That scared us. But the scariest thing was the fact that we didn't know off the bat why we got this That's strike, right. what was going That's on, right. and we didn't know that this could happen to any of our yeah, other videos we thought, just as random. We thought, this is from seven months ago. We have 1,100 plus videos yeah. that this could randomly happen to. Yeah. So imagine, guys, thinking we've been limited. Now YouTube doesn't like us because we got a strike. If you get a second strike, and we thought this could happen at random, mm -hmm. it means you can't upload anything for two weeks. Okay. So we would be gone. So we'd be gone. For two weeks. Yeah. And we were scared of that. So we wanted to let you guys know Friday night, June 1st. When it happened. The night it happened. What was going on so you guys would go follow us on our other social media yes. accounts. If you yes. haven't already done that, followed us on other social media accounts. All of them are linked below. And we have they a vlog channel. So go to our vlog channel too. Yes. Okay. So so that Three night. Three strikes, you get kicked off YouTube. Forever. And, and that's it. As far You're as done. we know. That's to our policy. knowledge. That's the policy. But, but it's there for a reason. You know, we don't want people out there doing things they shouldn't be doing. Yeah. And thank you to YouTube for making an effort and to keep the to bad keep, stuff yeah. off of it. You know, we're grateful for that. So uh, that night after we got our strike, we 
uploaded a uploaded video. that video saying we don't holy know. crap we don't know what's going on yeah and we gave some ideas a lot of you guys thought it was because of baby with all the x's in the title because of the certain name of said vehicle yes um and then we had that kind of made sense we had said that maybe it's this company and we said the company's name um and i feel like we had one more maybe it was just youtube uh, i don't know and <laughs> we we're just confused very confused and panicked and scared and again this was on our five-year anniversary we we're just trying to have a good time so we were up until 2 a.m that night it's researching with the researching and with the youtube chat yes that is available to content creators with a certain amount of subscribers yes. i didn't even know that was available we found out that night video. we've never had to implement that before youtube the representative that we talked to with YouTube had no idea why that strike was on our account. Right. And said that they would email us as soon as possible to let us know. Yes. So we probably went to bed, what, three, four in the morning that night? Something like that. When we when woke, we woke up, up. At about 8 a.m. And I started doing more research. And I checked our email and I had an email from YouTube that said why we got that strike who gave us that strike? What company gave us that strike? Yes, and it was abundantly clear what was going on. And we were mad because it was a big RC company. Yes. And it was their lawyer. His name was there as the person who submitted this mm -hmm. strike, yes. this trademark strike. Their reasoning was because we use their trademark name to promote a Another competitor product. company yes. in our title. So, so we made a video. We made a video. We were angry and scared because baby I'm on yep. the way, all sorts of things. And we let you guys know what was going on. Without before. saying any names. Yep. But so before we posted that video, we deleted Friday night's video that said that company's name. Yes. Be that was our choice because we were scared. Yes. That we said that company's name. So we deleted it before we could get another strike on our account. So in Saturday morning, June 2nd's video, we let you guys what was going on. We were very emotional, mm -hmm. very scared, very angry, very disappointed. And you guys are awesome. Yes. You supported us. <laughs> Stepped up to the plate. In a way that we didn't, thought. Didn't know we had that kind of support. No. Um, and we appreciate that so much. Unfortunately, some, some everybody you... gets very passionate. Yes. And unfortunately, when some people get passionate, they, they get use uh, vulgarities and profanities. And on our channel, we aren't okay with that. Right. Uh, we don't promote that. We're not okay. And we were scared that you guys were also using those profanities with said company. Yes, and some of you did. Your intentions were good, but the process was not, which was kind of the issue of this whole thing in the, in the first place. So, uh, so we took down the video. We took down that video after it had only been out for an hour and a half. And like 4,000 of you guys Which is seen. crazy. So then after we decided to take down the video, cause we were reading comments as they were coming in, it, it, it was abundantly clear that we needed to take that down. Like four hours later. Four hours later, we got an, uh, we got an email cause we've been watching it like a hawk at this point. Mm -hmm. And that email was from this company. They reached out to us and said, Hey guys, uh, let's And it was like a, talk. a manager per se of that company. Yes. Hey, let's talk. Here's the date and time. And then Tuesday, June, I don't even know. You guys figure out what date that was. It was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. We, we, we had a phone call. Phone call. And all we want to do is provide content for you guys. You know, we didn't know we did anything wrong in any way at all. I thought it was just like First Amendment stuff, but I, we're learning here, I guess. So they were on the phone with us for a short period of time explaining their viewpoint their opinion on this matter and uh what we can and cannot do and they made it very clear that if in any video in the future uh, we have a truck that resembles in any way their product we cannot say their name we their cannot product. use their product's name in the title in the description box in the tags and we cannot say it and moving forward we're not going to that was the resolution that it came to that's what that company wanted from us and yes. we're gonna respect their wishes yep i don't we didn't mean to do anything wrong i didn't think i did do anything wrong i didn't have any negative intentions i in the past and in the future 
have not and will not ever say anything negative about that company. Never I've, have I've always thought they're a great company. And in the, in the past, when asked, I've said, hey, beginner to the hobby, uh, buy this cheap thing and then upgrade to this really nice thing. I mean, I've never once said anything bad. Not like, oh, it's got a short run time or anything. I've never said anything bad about that company. I've always promoted it. So yeah, we can't say, we can't say their name. That's, that's it. Right. Um, that's it. I we agreed to not say it. We haven't really decided if we're going to go across the board with this, if we're just never going to mention any company's names, if their product is not in the if, video. If we had a lawyer, we could, we could look into out. it and figure it out. But fair use, uh, and copyright laws, there are too vague what I don't understand, and basically guys, that's kind of the end of the timeline. I told you we'd tell you the timeline. Us saying that, us agreeing that we'll not say that name moving forward, that's it. And now here we are today. Um, but moving forward between me and Abby, we don't know if other companies would react the same way. I Here's what I don't understand. People that take iPhone, Samsung, and they say, look they at these. They make a video about how much better their Samsung phone is than their iPhone Or vice versa. Without showing an iPhone, how is that not okay? Or people, here's a great example. No, even, even if people we. People that do Disney videos. Disney videos. Disney is one <laughs> of the most common person you think of when you think about people going after others for copyright and trademarks. People making YouTube videos and making money monetizing their videos about Disney. Yeah, uh, and they're... How is that okay? But but just saying a name... But doesn't. but I'm not. we're not throwing anyone under the bus. We, we love Disney. We um, just don't understand it. Um, I, I just don't just, get it. We're just agreeing to it. Um, but just so you guys know, YouTube is not to be the one to blame no, here. They did fine. YouTube actually decided after we submitted our appeal uh, to them regarding the strike and the takedown of that video, they sided with us. So the strike has been removed and the we can now, back up. we're able to live stream so we can live stream during our event. And uh, other things too, yeah. which is good. You know, we, we thought, uh, we were mad at YouTube because we thought this isn't, there. We didn't we didn't do anything wrong and we didn't understand what we did wrong if we did anything wrong um, So YouTube reacted very quickly. They they uh, I'm impressed honestly. I mean, I've heard a lot of bad things about YouTube and this type of stuff before but Maybe that's because the person was wrong in that instance, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know I but I don't know if I'm right, if I'm wrong. All I know is I told that company, I won't say your name anymore. I'm sorry I said it. You know, I, uh, I, I thought I was just helping to like shed some light on your company, but I don't, okay. I mean, I won't say it. I won't spell it. I won't whisper it. You know, I won't tag it. I won't. <laughs> and so just let this be um, like a PSA, public service announcement to other RC YouTubers. Yeah, maybe they need to know um, too. We were also told that we were not singled out That's by this right. company. Um, so just watch what your titles are. Yeah. <laughs> just watch, be careful guys, because we care about all of you guys. Um, and we don't want to see anybody um, get shut down because of this. I, I'd hate to see one of our friend YouTubers uh, lose everything they worked for because they accidentally put a name in a title or something. But we're going to keep researching fair use, copyright, trademark uh, stuff. Um, and I think as of right now, all our videos are going to continue as normal. Yeah, probably. Um, just without saying this that company's, company's name, name ever, ever, ever again. Yeah. <laughs> so I know that took a little bit of time to explain, but it was necessary because this has never happened in RC community YouTube history five years of us doing it five and a half years We've never heard of anything like this um, But uh, again, we received permission to let you guys know that We're okay. The strike is the lifted. strike is lifted woo, 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 woo. and that uh, You know, I don't hold any personal grudges I just 
won't say the name. That's it. I won't do it. Uh, we got stuff to give away. People have given us Are stuff. You ready to do the giveaway? Let's give. Do the giveaway. Yeah, jeez, and you guys. And then we'll finish up with the stuff. We're gonna that's give. Given us. We're gonna give one of them away now. One of them. Aww. And uh, then we'll do a fan mail thing. <laughs> that's so shady, Nathan. <laughs> It's fun. It's oh, fun. I'll just give them both. Okay, we'll now. give them both away. We'll give them both away. You guys, you made it through that. You made it through that, which you're awesome, by the way. <laughs> I'm probably all gonna timestamp way ahead, like this is where you need to go to skip all that. Well, I think it's it's one of the most. I think it's, it's newsworthy. The, it's um, newsworthy to protect other channels that you enjoy watching. So yeah. um, maybe just let them know about this video so they can be educated. There were a couple other YouTubers. Some of our friends in the YouTube world reached out to us to make sure we were okay. Yeah. And if you're still watching this video to those friends, thank you for checking because uh, yep. this is a this is a game changer oh, and to the people that still have s max videos out with said company's name that are changing. in the title i would be changing those titles and maybe you guys should reach out to them and say hey you might want to change your title because uh supposedly we're not alone in this That's so what we, were told. we were told that there are others and uh you know we can't say the company name but that company in in comparison that company did say we can allude to it allude there yes. was so we will allude to it so you guys don't think we are just ignorant right <laughs> that's it anyways okay let's give stuff away yes we are giving away thanks to gearbus yes uh for supporting us and giving back to the rc community. it's really cool you know people give gearbus a hard time sometimes because they're this overseas china company uh that has slow shipping but they got affordable stuff and they do giveaways all the time they're giving back to the community they're using our channel to give you guys free stuff the community free stuff and this ah. isn't the first time and it won't be the last that's right this is a over a hundred dollar drone we got two of them to, to give to you guys the hubson h216a right x4 desire pro yeah long which name. was like patreon voted to see twice on our channel yes so it's, it's been popular on our channel popular twice. drone and in fact we like it more than the <laughs> you probably can't even say we like it more than but we like it a little bit more than the uh jello drone the ijd jello let's give some away <laughs> okay our first winner uh, and we did a random comment random generator comment ahead generator. of time. I have yes, written down. For that video. For that video. The first winner of one of the Hubs and Drones is Model Nutty. <sighs> Popeye, are you excited? He's down here licking wow. Nathan's feet. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. I think he can tell I'm stressed. Uh, wow. Please send us a YouTube message. Um, so we ooh, can ooh, gather ooh, all your information. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, be sure to continually check that to make sure I get all the information. We're going to give our ready. winners like a week or so to get to, to get us. To a week max yep. to reply. If you don't reply in a week, we'll pick another winner. Yep. So, uh, And then second winner because we get two to give away. That's awesome. The second winner is Circuit Breaker. Circuit Breaker. That's a good name too, by the way. In the RC thing, I, I think that's a cool name. Circuit Breaker and Model Nutty. Please send us a direct message on YouTube so we know that it is in fact your account because there are some bad people in the world and they I might try to take accounts. they might try to take your stuff. So uh, <laughs> just send us a direct message from your YouTube account. Yep. Actually, did they take that feature away? They have not taken that feature away yet. It's but going it is to go going away. To, so we'll have to figure something else out. Yeah, and we will. But for the time being. Direct message us. You gotta hop on a computer. If you don't have a computer, go to the library, click the little tab, and then send the RC Sailors a message. Congratulations, Model Nutty Sweet. and Circuit Breaker. We are so excited for you. You're gonna love those drones. Yes. Now we have quite a few things. By the way, they're, left. they're brand new. They'll be shipped directly from oh, Gearbest. Yeah, so just bear that in mind. We have a few things left that has been this sent is to cool us. so i'm going cool. to get one thing that i am personally pretty excited there's something about. that i hope it's the same thing go get it go probably get it. not i guarantee you it's not go get it. okay okay <laughs> it's not this is it nope <laughs> i know what i know what mine is though 
You guys are going to like the thing I'm excited about. This is cool. I have, I have opened this and looked at it, but I haven't opened it all the way. You know how we can I'm open it? You know how we can open it all the way? <laughs> this is from the amazing Scott oh, it's got Keller. He um, Scott. must have seen in one of our vlog videos that I linked our registry that I had just started for Amazon. And he, like, the same day, bought us stuff from our registry. So I picked out... For Baby out, Ima. We have a registry for Baby Ima. That's cool. Yeah. I picked out um, a backpack, a diaper backpack instead of a diaper bag, because I don't like to carry around purses. That's It's a backpack. I don't, I don't like to carry around purses either. I don't like to carry around purses and stuff like that. So I wanted to make sure we had something that Nate could carry. How many diapers do you need? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me see it. <laughs> so I, I picked out this just because it's gray, gender neutral, um, and it's a backpack. So I'm, Nathan loves backpacks. So I, I do. I like cases would... and boxes and backpacks and things to keep That's organized. This is open. So I figured he would like this. So thank you so much, Scott. And I yeah. know that's not the only thing you sent. So it's just so nice of you. And um, if you have wanted to contribute to our channel or just us in general, or you're just excited for the baby, I don't baby, know. Uh, we'll link that registry down below. Yes. Popeye is hitting Popeye's our tripod. The tripod. <laughs> Earthquake. <laughs> we'll link that down below. You guys can check that out if you go, want. Go get the thing I'm excited I'm about. That's so nice. That's though. very Thank nice. You. And I'll probably it's use that for like backpack. five years or something. Thank well, you. I don't know how long. Depends how many, how many baby sailors there will be. Go get the other box. I have Which one? Home. The box box. That one? The Nemo box box. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that's the one, but this one is really awesome. So awesome. Okay, okay. So, oh, is it well, all in here? Oops, okay. Is it all in here? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do another video with this later. This we're thing. Really excited. Because it's kind of for it. the actual RC channel. Yeah. This was from, let me make sure I get his name. John Brubaker and he makes these so I will link his website down below so you can buy one too. He doesn't make them with this logo on them. It was just kind he of might a special if you ask him, maybe. but he did know. that for us. You know what this is? This, uh, uh, when, when we store our batteries over a period of time in storage charge mode, uh, we put them in ammo boxes and sometimes we put them in a lipo bag in the ammo box. Mm -hmm. But ammo boxes are metal and they, they've been known to be pretty safe. And with it's really times. hard to like actually organize, organize in oh, there. It's all impossible. my batteries, I have four ammo boxes. I need probably more. And they're packed full of batteries. And the only ones I can ever access are the two batteries sitting on top. So this is a way to That's slide so cool. these boxes, these little... The uh, batteries. Oh, nice. Uh, you, you put this down in the ammo box. Okay, I couldn't remember his address off the top of my head, so this must be his logo. Uh, Zeke's Park Scale Models, parkscalemodels.com. So I will have all that info linked he down below. He makes these. Um, and I think these that go inside the ammo boxes. I think it's really awesome and really important to support <laughs> companies that are, uh, you know, just try, trying to make a name for themselves. I don't think there's instructions. What I'll are we going to do? Out. I'll figure it oh, out. Oh, gosh. He probably has them on the, web, on the website. I hope. It smells, it smells so good. So good. <laughs> like, those are so nice. Laser cut wood. So, we're going to put this together and we'll have it featured in another video, probably a battery video. I think, has, I think there might be multiples in here. That looks like more than just one, but I might be wrong. Does. I might be wrong. So, that helps you keep your batteries organized so cool. down in an ammo box. I mean, he got our font and everything that we use. That Very is awesome. so cool. Thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. so much. We'll feature this again very soon. Yes. There's a couple more boxes. Go get the Fisher Price box. Okay. It's a baby box. <laughs> it's big enough there could be a baby inside. Probably not though. There could be. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making Abby the pregnant one go get all That's this That's what stuff. I was wondering <laughs> that too. So this is from Scott Keller as well. Scott Keller. So on our registry, it just sends everything to our PO box in case you guys were wondering. Um, so Scott sent this, and this is, I know this isn't a baby review channel, but I'm so excited, so just skip forward if you don't want to hear um, this. Well, you know, the RC Sailors, we got a baby on the way, yeah. and uh, you'll probably, Scott, and others that buy us stuff on the baby registry stuff, um, You'll probably see this stuff on the vlog yeah, channel. Yeah, so go so, subscribe to that. God, the vlog so channel. So this is, what's this called? A feeding you know, chair? Yeah, you know what else? I don't even, we're so bad at yeah, this. Hang on, it's a high chair thing. It's like, yeah, a high chair, but it's not. You, you know what's cool about something like this? Like Scott 
if he watches the vlog channel, which he does obviously, yeah. he'll probably see this in the background and All stuff for like years <laughs> to come. Like, yeah. hey, I got that for the RC Sailors yeah. three years ago. Still there. So this one is cool because it hooks to your chair and it grows as the baby grows. See, a toddler can fit in that. So that's really neat and it goes on a chair so it's more space saving to me than like rather than having the high chair with like the feet stick out a lot. Our dining room's kind of small so. Yeah so we, we're trying to get, quit bumping the tripod Popeye. <laughs> we're trying to get space saving things so that is what I was hoping would save space. I'll get the next box. You okay that one's heavy Pop. so. <laughs> oh you're getting the other one. Mm -hmm. That one is heavy. Everybody? We have two more boxes. Here, move this so they yep. won't see his address. Mm -hmm. This is from Stan as Stan well. Bro. And he always puts these... California, California! <laughs> he always puts these notes in them. And we love reading the notes. But it's so... It takes us so long to Stan, read Stan, your handwriting is like as bad as mine. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's like me trying to read my own handwriting. <laughs> we read them, it just, it sounds like we're kindergartners but trying to read. But no, don't change. I'm not saying that so you type so it or fun. something, just we keep love it, it up. <laughs> He's always got like fun color of ink too. Alright, now these. Okay, this was cool. This is for Popeye. Because he said he picked all this stuff out for us before we mentioned all the ticks that Popeye had been picking up. One day Popeye got into a bunch of ticks when we took him for a walk mm -hmm. and since then we've been a little hesitant on bringing him outside. Yeah. Uh, just until tick season passes. And we use like a flea tick shampoo but in a flea color that's what we do. Uh, and organic it still didn't work. It killed flea, them all but they still attached. Organic flea tick shampoo. It's made with all natural oils. Is that for the dog awesome. or for us? That's, that's for, the, for dog. the dog. He had some stuff in here for us. Something. <laughs> Yeah, it's a doggy uh, there, shampoo. There are some magazines and catalogs in here. Uh, we won't get all of them out because there's a lot for the video. This is Musher's Secret. I think it goes on his paws to help like protect his paws. Maybe in the cold? Because it's Musher's oh, Secret. Crazy. I got a little bit of research to do on that. I know your, uh, your note explains this stuff. So, um, so these are crazy. These are tick keys. It's very nice. Original tick key is the easiest to use tick removal device on the earth. We got a, a black one and an orange one. I like that. That's crazy. I, I was, wonder how good those were. I was using little tweezers, tweezers like the ones that you use to pluck your unibrow away. You know those? <laughs> I they was, were not my personal ones, oh my just so you know. Uh, I was using that and then after the whole tick thing I, I uh, they're uh, sterilized them. But no, they're just Popeyes. They're Popeyes now. <laughs> in case he gets more What ticks. was that? That is a tick repellent. Cool. This Spray. is another. Same, same. Is this for just dogs yes. or humans well, too? Well, I don't know. That might go on your shoes or something to help repel ticks. Not. Yeah, that's probably for your shoes. This is tick camouflage repellent stick. Oh, huh, nice. Okay. That's pretty neat. That is awesome so because we are that's just uh, for the ticks. We'll probably bring a lot of this stuff so, to RCS Fest. They're so bad this year, ticks. They are. We, Nate has, I haven't found any on me, not found on wood two yet. On my Nate ankle. has found them on him. His mom has <sighs> found them on her and Nate and then obviously Popeye. And so it's just a bad year for ticks. Tick season. Another letter. And I think this is also Stan Brewer. It is. You're the this best. Is, this is the last thing. Last thing. And no, no, like just individual letters this time, which was surprising. We like individual. letters. Oh too. yeah, like just. Hey, if you guys Notes. just want to write us a, a note to say, we hey, thinking of you. Um, I'm from California. Uh, you know, we just send us them. a letter. I love going to the PO yeah. box and seeing that stuff because it just lets us know that you guys care about us. Um, this is Stan cool. sent all this. This smells delicious. To us back in April when we. Um, Logged I mean. or or no, we talked about how someone sure. had kind of rear-ended us. Um, he was helping he, us uh, stay stress-free. Yeah, he's he's trying to get us stress-free. So this is like a stress-free. Uh, yeah, this is mine. Scent. I know, but it, it smells good. <laughs> it's all soap. Yeah, it smells awesome. I like that. I'll probably use that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is for me. They smell so good. Egg white. I think doesn't I'm smell like eggs. Lemon, oh, so good. An apple cider it's vinegar. It's soap. I could, I feel like I could just, wow, oh, eat that. This is the brand that he sent for my soap, if we can get it there. 
to show up. Vermont Country Store. That's where he got that. Very nice. Very, I from very, California, very not nice. Well, they have, a, they have a well-known store. Bath salts. He's, and the funny thing is, all the stuff he put his or share. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like he did that with mine too. <laughs> this is this smells smells really good. I Bath think, salts. This, oh, this is both. It has a goat on it. Old goat botanical soak. I love bath salts. So this, cool. the, I've been dying to do this video. So I can finally eat this. This yeah, is the I Vermont know. Country Store. We've got two of them. They're both the He's same. Got smoked pepperoni. We love that kind of stuff. Tons of blueberry jam. Blueberry, strawberry, cherry, and peach. I think. My stomach got is two like. Two of those. <laughs> That's just that's such it. a nice gesture, yeah. That's everything. Two, two of that's those. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I like to get you know, beef jerky and stuff. That's uh, people know that I like that. Rick, I think was it Rick? Rick uh, has sent me beef yeah. jerky before. Keeps me fed. <laughs> Good job on the packaging too, Stan. You did an exceptional job. Uh, and just, I know this is a really long video, it but is. there's a lot of things we wanted to talk to you guys about. And we're just. So thankful for you guys. Yeah. Um, the mail that you have sent us, the gifts, they're Helps just us so get appreciated. Through some of the rough times. It makes us remember that people um, appreciate what we do and yeah. that you guys just support us no matter what. So that just means the it's, world to us. So if this has never happened before, but that whole incident about the strike, the incident. The, this remind like if if that was the only thing that happened and Abby and I had no interaction with you guys through the whole process, we probably would have been like, we're done, don't know what to do, we're done. But you guys uh, motivate us to keep going through the thick of it too. Um, and and we, just want, we just want everyone to be happy. You know, I want that company, especially because they're close to home, to be successful but in a very positive way. You know, I don't think that any negative interactions need to happen for them to be successful. And I would hope that we could be successful with what we do as well. So that's, that's it, you know, we just want everyone to be happy and enjoy the hobby at the end of the day. Lesson learned, we won't say the name, and uh, happy to move on that's that's the yep. that's the long and short so of it. we're moving on and we're really excited just for our CS fest coming up we're baby really I'm excited a... about it. and then I, that's a, that's our whole process like wait RCS fest baby I'm a. yes we have a couple or what like six weddings between that and baby I'm a. and then we're uh, we're ready for baby we'll be parents then which is crazy, crazy. and remember uh, RCS Fest is happening the weekend of Father's Day, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd love to see you guys there. Vinton County Airport, yeah. Ohio. It's just 10 bucks if you want to come in and be a spectator. You can hang out all weekend mm -hmm. you for can, $10. And you can drive trucks, and you can buddy box. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to have AMA to buddy box with If you want to fly there, uh, it's $30 for a pilot, and uh, you got to have your AMA insurance because it's an AMA-sanctioned event. I am an AMA event coordinator, uh, officially. Officially, so since a year ago, yeah, and I want to keep that. I, I want to keep that rolling too. We love the hobby with all our hearts. It's what we do. It keeps us going. It keeps us happy, uh, and and we love you guys for being such a big part of our lives and for being such a big part of the hobby. I mean, I think that this hobby. I wouldn't do RC if I didn't think it was a very amazing, healthy hobby you can learn so much you gain social skills you gain friends we now have friends from all over um, the world and america and we we meet up with those people hence rcs fest and other rc events and those friends of ours are now very tight-knit close friends we have communication going on facebook and stuff all the time it's just such an amazing hobby and i don't want that to ever change and i think that uh we With just, how awesome you guys are, it's never going to change. Just keep being awesome. You uplift us as much as some of you have said we uplift you, which is just awesome. I'm so, I feel very blessed that we have this tool, YouTube, and this ability to reach out to you guys and just do our best to bring the community together and have a welcoming 
channel uh, for newcomers and seasoned RC enthusiasts alike. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching and your continued support, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! It'll be shorter, I promise. Bye!